Hi, my name is John Garfield. Um, Esmeralda asked me to pray for this conference, and uh, I'm a huge fan of Esmeralda, uh, as well as the church there, Dick and Arlene Westerhoff. And um, so I asked the Lord, you know, okay, what do we pray about? <laughs> and uh, this is a week ahead of time. This is the Saturday before the conference. And um, it was like a bomb dropped, and uh, the Lord asked me to write this down and, uh, and give it to him, just like I told you. So uh, it's kind of like uh, I'm giving it to you. So, Father, we ask for your spirit to be present at this conference to touch the hearts of every Sarah, every Esther, every Deborah, every Hannah, every Elizabeth, every Mary. You are about to give birth, says the Lord. I have put my word in your hearts, and I declare this day that the seed of my word will multiply in your hearts and in your minds, and, I will, and it will bear great fruit. Be strong and of good courage, because I'm doing a new thing, and I'm raising up a new generation of women to carry it. Just as I granted you salvation and favored you with access to my presence and my throne room, in this Reformation I'm giving you access to my works, not only my presence, to do even greater works as you co-labor with me in the kingdom. I'm favoring you with grace to access the mountain of your calling to touch cultures, and I'm granting you the authority of heaven to ask me for the desires of your heart. I have a question for you, says the Lord. It's the question I asked Solomon, and I ask you this question in this day. What would you have me to do for you? What's the desire of your heart? And what would you release in the, in the spirit in your nation? Queens have an answer for this question. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance. The Netherlands is a gateway to Europe. And I declare this nation is mine. I'm releasing your hearts to rule and reign with me to set this people free. For you too are a gateway for my spirit. I will prosper the thing that you set your hand to do. And if you put my kingdom first and bless the nation and bless her people, I will cause your name to be made great. I will promote you and cause you to be the head and not the tail. I will give you the power to create wealth and establish my covenant. For my spirit is blowing a trumpet that's singing, Open wide ye gates and be lifted up the doors, and the King of glory will come in. And you're called to usher in this King of glory into this nation. So, Father, we bow before your great name and we ask, we say, Bless every woman in this house, fill them afresh with your spirit and your power, and activate the grace in their lives to bless their nation and their culture, and their people. Father, with one heart and one mind, we come before you today, and we ask you for the Netherlands. Let her rise up and be entrepreneurial. Release her creativity and her love for you. Let her export your great name and your great glory to every nation in Europe, and then to every nation in the earth. We redeem the heritage of the Dutch in Jesus' name. And we say, rise up and be great and fulfill your destiny. Some of you have gone through great trials and great loss. And you've said in your heart, Lord, I want to be a part, but I just can't. My eye is on you, says the Lord. I'm reaching for you today, and I'm pulling you out of the pit of hopelessness to be seated with me. And I have need of you, says the Lord. I have not forgotten you. I have not forsaken you. Do not fear the giants in your land, for they are bread for you. Trust my ability and my desire to bring resurrection life into your life, for I'm healing families and finances and futures Take your seat at my right hand in heavenly places, O daughter, and I will cause you to ride upon the high places. Make a plan, even a business plan. Put it in writing. Do the cash flow. Set your hand to the task, for I will give you the land that you have set your foot upon. Be bold and be courageous and get to work. Kingdom is more than preaching about exploits. It's doing exploits. So I want you to ask one another two questions. What's your dream, and how can I help you take the next step? Father, release every queenly heart to be themselves exactly the way you created them to be. Let there come a rest among your people, a confidence. Uh, let our identity be in you. And then to be, uh, we release every queen at this conference to be great, to be exactly what you wrote in their book. 
and anoint every person, every speaker, and every minute in Jesus' name. Release the hearts of your people. Thank you, Father, for this conference, for Esmeralda, and for every person there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord. We worship you, we praise you, and we bless your great name. And we say we will put your kingdom first, and we will exalt your great name, and we will see great victories in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Have a great conference.